Hey planner friends, it's Joe back with another video this time of 2021 January setup. I am ecstatic about this setup as I am all the others. I uh, It's just stuff I've curated um, for this setup for quite a while now. Um, just very briefly, I wanna talk about how I um, start my setups every beginning of the month, I look ahead. So for instance, for December, 1st of December, I was already curating and designing for January setup. For November 1st, I was already curating and designing for um, December setup. And of course, since this is January 1st, because you're going to be seeing this on January 1st when I upload it, I'm already in beginning to start designing and curating for February and my Valentine setup. Uh, by the way, Happy New Year. Wherever you are, I'm uh, excited we made it. Um, I'm going to choose to look at some positive things for 2020. I know that there were so many negative things, heartbreaking things, and very destructive things that happened in 2020, but I'm looking at the positive. No, two things, mostly, that are I'm very thankful for, very thankful for, and that is, number one, I got to reconnect with my husband on a much deeper level than we have ever, and I know I don't want to get too mushy, but you guys, that's just, uh, he's a typical dude. And so, you know, that being said, it's pretty hard um, to do that. And this year we really did. I mean, we just have, in my opinion, become each other's best friend. And we're, we sit and chat or laugh at each other now. We watch movies. It's just on much more comfortable all the way around. Not that it ever was uncomfortable. It's just better. I don't know how to describe it other than just better. Um, and I attribute that to all of the time spent in focusing on each other and our family rather than going out and into the world and doing things um, to occupy our time. The other thing that I'm super thankful for is in 2020, for predominantly the whole year, uh, starting in March of 2020, I got to work from home. Um, that took me out of the, what, uh, the office environment. I just... Um, there's a lot of personalities in everybody's office probably, you know, that you would consider toxic. And we had those in my, in my um, office as well. And I am so thankful that I got to work from home because I just feel emotionally and mentally healthier because of it. And then one last thing uh, on that note is that I started um, really taking my uh, mental health and emotional health um, seriously in 2020 because I, right about March I was really frazzled and I had to seek some help some therapy not because I I was just so overwhelmed with certain things and um, and through therapy I have you know seeing a counselor I have been able to unravel things about myself so much and I feel so much better oh my gosh it is it is beyond wonderful. And so those are the things I'm gonna to choose to look at um, and be thankful for. Uh, 2020 for me was the year that, you know, I reconnected, I'm just gonna say it that way. And in spite of the tragedies that we have, we have seen and, and that we have to deal with, for me personally, there were a lot of positive things that happened. Okay, so that's my spiel, um, it took about four minutes to say all of that, that it shouldn't have, but all right, let's get into what we came here for, which is the 20, January 2021 setup. I'm using this G Gilio Medium XL Campania and Gray Matte Croco. I had hoped that I would be able to get um, a Medium XL Campania and Ostrich X uh, in the Oryx, but that didn't work out. Didn't happen. Um, they're pretty expensive. They're about the cost of two and a half, maybe even three of these. Um, so it's it's pretty pricey and it just didn't work out. But you know what? 2021 is a whole new year and I am pumped for this year. There are so many things changing in, the, in our country, in our world. I am just, I, I, am, I am more positive this year than I have been in quite a long time for the beginning of this new year. So let's open it up. We have over here in this pocket, the same as I always do, I keep sticky notes over there. I love having them accessible in that area. Then I have two pocket cards here from Queen City Design. And then I have 
uh, you're going to hear me see, say a few names all through this planner. Number one is Queen City Design. I absolutely love that shop for all things deco. Number two is Gigi Plannery. I love that shop for all things deco. Gigi Plannery is on Instagram. Um, go check her out. I will have her linked below as well as Queen City Design. The third um, shop that you're going to hear me say quite a bit is um, Squizzleberry. Um, that's a printable shop. And then fourth is Cloth and Paper. Those are predominantly all through this planner. So get ready to hear them a lot. Speaking of, we have GG Plannery. This is something she came out with, I think, around Black Friday. I don't remember exactly when, but I was like, uh, yeah, I got to be all up in that and involved with that. That's how far in advance I have to curate things and, um, you know, make sure that I get things available. Because, you know, the shop owners, let's face it, folks, they're real people just like me and you. They have full-time jobs. They're probably parents. They're probably dealing with everything that we're dealing with on top of running a small business and they need a lot of lead time and I'm and I am happy to oblige when I can you know what I mean if I can order it from them and give them that lead time and so this was probably around Black Friday or just before and I absolutely love the way it turned out this is some paper from Joann's I'm not sure if you can see because the lighting is going away, but it has just a little bit of sheen to it. It's like a frost, and I love that. It's kind of a nude. Um, you can't. I don't know if you can tell, but the the vellum itself is more of a nude color, um, and it has a frost, and that's my theme. Is January to me is uh, a new year, a celebration of new things, the winter season and the coziness of the season and the snow and snowflakes. I just, everything about it. And that leads me to, this is a snowflake from Queen City Design Acetate. And here is my mood board for January. And this, I created this myself. I am blown away. I don't usually brag on myself, but I am blown away because this just hit the nail on the head. I love it. Um, winter, January, the, the frost, the, the snowflakes, the cozy jackets, the snow sledding, um, cookies. I, it's everything. Happy new year, celebration and candles. My husband and I, we love candles, love, love, love them. And so we'll, a lot of times just light them all up and just chill, have a glass of wine and watch a movie. It's so wonderful. <clears throat> Here we have, so we start off with my table of contents, which is from Hey Planner Girl. Um, this is Franklin Covey size. Her shop is one um, that does do deco in Franklin Covey compact. And by the way, in case I didn't mention it yet, I've done so many videos already. Uh, this is Franklin Covey compact uh, size inserts and deco in a medium XL Campania. Then we have GG Plannery. We have, uh, this is a freebie from Plan With B. She's also on Instagram. I'll try to link her below as well. Um, when I saw it immediately, I knew exactly I had to have it. She does half letter. Half letter sizes down very uh, nicely by 79% to accomplish a compact ring size insert. Then we have Cheers. This is a Pinterest image. Um, this is, I don't really know what I'm doing with this, but I just had to have it layered. Um, I, this is a card from, I think this is from Queen City Design or it's cloth and paper. I can't, I think it's Queen City Design though. Um, and then we have cloth and paper, the January card, cloth and paper, Jador card, and um, Gigi Plannery Iconic. This is another freebie from Plan With B. Such good freebies. You guys, I said it before, I'll say it again. If you are not following her or you are not uh, following her on uh, YouTube or Instagram or getting her freebies, I don't know what you're doing with your life. What are you doing with your life? Ask yourself that question. We have um, a vellum that I made using Canva. Don't we all say that? This will probably last approximately 30 days. <laughs> then we have this one um, that was from Back to Basic Studio, Vogue Up Like This. I just love 
I love the, I just love everything about it. This is layered on top of vellum from uh, the planner spot. Then we have a pocket card here from uh, cloth and paper. And we have cloth and paper inserts. These are the inserts that came um, at the beginning of uh, when you buy the inserts for um, the weeklies, the, the dated weekly verticals. You get this whole reference section. And I just split it up from putting it in that section right up here at the front because I really loved having last year just something I can quickly flip to you and say, okay, on September the 17th, that's what day it's at. And I just love the look of it up front. Up front is mostly deco and then a reference. <clears throat> and then we jump into um, my sections. Now, I am trying something new as we all planner people do. I am gonna explore some different sizes this year. I'm gonna explore some different ways and different um, sections in my planners to see what works for me. This month, I'm doing Brain Dump, um, and in the Brain Dump, we'll list, um, I'm just going to make sure that I am consistent with my table of contents, but it's my inbox, my Brain Dump, lists, and notes. That's going to be in this section here. This is from Queen City Design, GG Plannery. We have GG Plannery. <laughs> we have uh, Acetate, which I love, layered over this beautiful Pinterest image that I made into a dashboard using Canva. We have uh, this snow acetate from um, the planner press. I put some sticky notes on the back here because this is my inbox cut down from personal wide um, that I've got from cloth and paper. What I do with my inbox is a couple of things. I well, sometimes if I'm on the go or just in a quick hurry or I don't want to write it messy, I will pull off a sticky note, slap it here, and then write what I need to put in my inbox. And sometimes um, I don't want to show you the messy part of it, but I will have a sticky note here with a running list of things um, that I will have on there. Okay, I've cleared it off because I wanted to do this video, but that's what I usually do. I love the look of layering, and I don't usually love to keep the sticky notes on there that much, so it really does make me go to the spot and clear it out, um, and I love that aspect of it. This is from Cloth and Paper. By the way, guys, um, this is vellum that I bought here. This is Cloth and Paper's vellum. If there's a difference, it is minuscule at best. I am so glad I found that vellum. <clears throat> and I print on it all the time. It prints well with laser or um, with inkjet. Here's another gorgeous um, image from Pinterest. More cloth and paper uh, sticky notes. Here is my true inbox where I will write down things. If I have time, I'll just write them down. And then I kind of scratch them out with my Tombow pen um, when, they, when they come. When I get to them and finish them more inbox. Here's a brain dump. This is more, my brain dump section is more for um, long-term ideas. I don't, it's, it's, I don't know that I'm using it correctly as a brain dump, but it's more for long-term ideas, um, like research book ideas. Um, I am just insane and crazy, but I have always wanted to, I have so many stories rattling around in my head that I thought, how interesting would it be to even do a short story? If I never get it published, at least it's not rattling around in my head anymore. It's down on paper, or rather typed in a in a saved file on my computer, and it doesn't have to rattle up there anymore. So um, I'm researching book ideas, and then researching uh, creating an, a YouTube intro. Um, Charming Plans has a really cute um, and wonderful instructive video how to do it on Canva. I have created one. Um, I don't exactly know what I'm doing, how to get it from iMovie and saved as a file so I can, yeah, it's, it's a, 
I'm not sure yet. So I'm researching. It probably won't happen with this video, but one of my goals for 2021 with my YouTube channel is I want to be more specific with my content, better content. I want to um, also have more um, polished look to my YouTube videos as well and to my Instagram. These are from Squizzleberry, by the way. These inserts are from Squizzleberry. I've said this before, size down, uh, A5 size down to 77%. Here's some vellum from uh, the planner spot. I have memo page. This is from my friend Melanie made us uh, some inserts very quickly. Uh, I just needed this. I wanna do a Tombow pen test because I'm tired of remembering what they all look like. So I started with these. This was way too orange. I thought it would work for this month, but it has not. I haven't found a Tombow for this month yet, you guys. So I have today to get it done. <laughs> then we have Back to Basic Studios layered over a new printable shop for me. This is paper and ink printables. This is a, a Karma dashboard. I love the way that it turned out. Um, be good, do good, layered over karma. What goes around comes around, and isn't that the truth? Then we have a listing insert. Um, here's a list of people that I have started going through that has freebies, by the way. Um, Planner Theory, Maria Plans, Plan With B, Mindy Plans, and Courtney Taylor Blog. If you know of any others, please do let me know in the comments below. Let everybody know. Share your ideas. Share, share alike. Then we have uh, printable stickers. Um, Lily's Desk is a new one that I have found. Um, and the Planner Spot, I just found uh, her Etsy shop and I, I bought some of her um, printable stickers. Then we have um, my wish list. I have some wish list stuff on the other side there. I don't want to show just yet. Um, so we have just a wish list here. This is from Paper and Ink Printables. Love the look of it. Then we have another freebie from Plan With B, layered over a Paper and Ink Printables uh, dashboard. By the way, I don't know if you can see the sheen, but I'm using um, the brochure paper from Staples. It is quite expensive, but it's the glossy uh, Staples uh, brochure paper. All right, then we have my notes section. This, uh, this, Part uh, subsection is for notes. I have cut down these note papers from half letter for cloth and paper. I don't even think they have any anymore. It was on their um, last chance section, so I'm sure that they're not gonna have any anymore. So I don't really use the notes anymore. Um, I don't use this paper. What I do is stick sticky notes, and I've cleaned this up quite a bit so that I could show you guys um, more long-term notes, like notes on our house. We eventually want to build a home at some point, but we're also looking at renting for a little while longer. So these are some of the things that um, I want to make sure that our uh, new rental or even a new house, uh, some of the aspects that they would have. My new setup notes, kind of uh, ideas that I'm thinking about for my future setups. Um, here are some planner uh, deco shops that I've been thinking about. I've gotten a lot of them actually. Wildly Noted um, is another one, and I'm still wanting to try uh, hers. EO Edits is another one. So here's some note paper, and then here is some note paper from my friend Mel. Um, she made this for our little group. It's not really for sale, but I love having them. Um, I am going to start journaling. If you guys are interested in my journaling uh, journey and putting that up here as well, let me know. Um, I do owe you another video here pretty soon. It will be my 2021 planner lineup, which will include my journal. So let me know if you're interested in that. We have um, planner shops with 2021 printables, which I've already, Poi and Hun, and um, what is the, uh, oh my gosh, Elamon Paper Co. You guys need to open up your shops. I'm ready to shop with you, by the way. <laughs> Not that they're ever going to see this, but still. All right, so we have, oh, these are the dividers that I made, by the way. This next section is my finance, but I made these dividers using that same 
Joanne's paper that was the nude color with the, um, they have just a little bit of detail for like snow or sparkle. Here we have iconic uh, vellum from Planner Press layered over Sparkly Paper Co. Acetate um, and then layered over this wonderful Pinterest image that I used um, to make a dashboard. I mean, yeah, a dashboard, yeah. <laughs> then we have my online shopping. I am so excited, you guys. Um, I have not done a lot of shopping since Christmas, even though I do have some gift cards and things of that nature. Um, I did, was able to, um, some relatives came together and I got a gift card to be able to buy a, um, what do you call it? A fountain pen. I know it's crazy, but I am so excited. I've been wanting one for a little while now. And so I'm, again, with the journaling, I'm delving into the fountain pen life. Here is my monthly bill uh, tracker. What I've done, I, I want to show you guys just a little bit right here. So I've listed them. Um, this is a fillable uh, tracker from Hey Planner Girl. And you can get this in half letter because I don't think she has it in Franklin Covey. But it sizes down really nice to 79%. I have filled it in with my bills. Now I get paid twice a month. So this is my first paycheck. This is my second paycheck. Or no, this is pay period one. This is pay period two. So what I do, as you can see, it goes January through December. And what I will do is go through and mark each time. So after on my pay period one, I will go back and look to make sure that everything came out that it was supposed to because all of my bills are done via auto pay um, with the exception of rent and my car payment, um, everything else is auto pay. So I just make sure that they were all paid accordingly and that they took out what they were supposed to. My next section is personal. Um, I don't think I have anything filled out yet because I wanted to do this video before I started filling it out. This is some uh, vellum that I made using Canva, a dashboard I made using Canva, and then we have my inserts that I'm trying out with paper and ink printables, my health log. What this is going to be for is several things. <clears throat> Anything related to physical health, emotional health, or mental health, okay? Because I'm a whole person. I'm keeping it all right here. So let's say that I have um, chest pain on whatever date. I'm going to put the date and that it was chest pain and maybe just a little description of, you know, something like that. <clears throat> the hopes is that if I start to increase my, I'm not that I've had it, you know what I mean? I'm just saying that's an example. My hopes is that I would start catching it or if I'm going to the doctor about it, I can tell them when it occurred and maybe a little bit about that. The most thing that I will be using this for is anxiety. Um, my anxiety level is usually through the roof. And so um, my therapist and I were working on that. And one of the things I'm going to try to do is capture like on what day and kind of my anxiety was high and maybe a little bit about what happened that day. Um, we're going to see how that works. Here is my therapy overview. This is from uh, Squizzleberry. And so this is kind of my therapist, what we're working on, and then my therapy notes. So each session I will have, um, I will write down what my therapy session was about to remind myself. And then my negative thoughts into positive thoughts. You guys, I have not seen an insert out there yet that makes more sense for me and for my emotional health than this one. My therapist and I have been working so hard at this. <clears throat> Sidebar, if you do not suffer with having those negative thoughts and trying to transition your thinking into positive, you don't you probably won't know what I'm talking about but for those of us who do it is the hardest thing to change you can change your diet you can change the way you exercise you can change all of that together combined I feel is probably easier than having to change your negative outlook your negative thoughts your negative self into a more positive self it is it is incredibly difficult and I am here for the challenge I'm doing it I'm going to do that my next section is schedule. 
again with GG Plannery. Love it layered over this beautiful vellum from uh, the planner spot, <clears throat> layered over this cute little picture and image from Pinterest. <clears throat> we have more sticky notes from Cloth and Paper, Queen City Design. Um, I think this is from, I, I think this is Cloth and Paper, that journaling card there is. Cloth and paper top tabs, which I have demarking my yearly overview. Change, manifest that shit for sure, for real though, for real. Okay, Lauren, this is from Queen City Design. I had to layer it over this change because that's, um, yeah, that's what's happening. By the way, um, I, I haven't made it very prominent in this because it's going to be more so in my journal, but my word of the year is c'est la vie. Um, it's French for... Uh, Basically, it's a saying of what will be, will be. I know it may not be just a, a word, but it is my mantra for this year. And a lot of people will use it in a way because, you know, when something bad happens, well, say la vie, you know, that's how life is. For me, it is what will be, will be because I have a problem with trying to control every aspect of my life to avoid negativity and challenges and in the dark basically and you can't do that my therapist has told me you can't do that everybody will go through the rain essentially and it's how you react to it it's how you respond that is uh, that is the key and so say la vie is my is my word of the year or my phrase of the year and that's what i'm going to be keeping in my mind but here's the overview Positive mind, positive vibes, positive life. This is from Back to Basic Studio. Then we have this flip out here from uh, DOAA Inspiring Designs. I'm using this as <clears throat> my yearly goals. So one of the yearly goals that I have is for my YouTube channel. Um, I'm gonna figure out where in the grand scheme of things and how that's gonna break down. But what I'm using this section for is more important things like for instance in may my new york law uh, license and renewal is due um, so is my cle's um, dc law license is due in july um, i need to recertify my student loan <clears throat> payment um, in january so i those are when i know something specific and big is happening i'm going to write it on this so that i know i i be sure to look at that over here may just be notes for the year or something like that if I need to keep up with notes. My second section is going to be my monthly. This is a paper and ink printable that I printed on vellum 2021 over my Say La Vie word of the year. This is from Hey Planner Girl. I did buy the half letter and sized it down to 79% because she didn't have this particular design in the Franklin Covey Combat. We have my cloth and paper um, inserts. Then we have um, my weekly section. This is a um, squizzleberry. Uh, this is part of her daily and weekly um, printable inserts. And I just printed the first page on that wonderful vellum that I found. And I love the way it looks. You can't see it, but it's faintly got 2021 written in a very beautiful font right there. Layered over another word of the year dashboard from Hey Planner Girl. Then we have, oh, I forgot to, yeah, I forgot to do that. Um, anyway, I have this from uh, Richly Noted. This is from, uh, yeah, from Richly Noted. It is half letter, size down 79%, chapter one, which is January. What I'm doing here is in my monthlies, <clears throat> because my planner is so chunky, I'm doing a quarterly. So I'm keeping three months worth of monthlies in here. For my weekly, I'm keeping two months of weeklies in here. Okay, so January and February. And then <clears throat> we go into my daily, which I don't have yet um, because I just ordered them from cloth and paper. This is from Back to Basic Studio, which I've layered over a vellum from 
uh, paper and ink printables. And Hey Planner Girl, another year word of the year. I got it everywhere in here now. <laughs> But this is going to house my dailies, and I'm going to keep one month of dailies in there. Um, I am going to try the cloth and paper dailies. I think the cloth and paper dailies have um, like one day, two day, three day, uh, and so on and so forth. I like that because number one, it cuts down on the amount of paper you need. Number two, I really did have a lot of trouble using dailies every single day with a whole page. Um, it it was a lot of paper. Sometimes I didn't need all of that. So I, I really feel like I won't be as wasteful with the new way we do that they've done the dailies and I'm excited about it. My next section is tracking. Um, another goal of mine this year is I want to try to track a little bit more things uh, just for my own personal information. I've uh, made this vellum over this um, Pinterest image that jacket looks so cozy. I tried to find a jacket that I thought was more masculine um, and male, and you know, it's hard to find out there. <laughs> Here are some task management <clears throat> for uh, paper and ink printables. I'm not exactly sure what tasks yet I'm going to be managing, but I, I do know that they're probably gonna be on there, especially one of them that comes to mind will be um, our move. Uh, that's gonna be a huge one, and so I wanna Wanted an insert to see if I couldn't make it work for that. Let me go back here. The layering. I know you guys love it. <laughs> this is from Queen City Design. It's the Taurus um, acetate layered over a the planner spot um, vellum layered over. This is uh, EO Edits. I bought her wild um, something. I forget it's wild something package, but... Um, I bought it, on, bought it on Black Friday at a discount, and I love it. <clears throat> and then we have my um, social media tracker. This is just where I'm going to, um, I'll have my key over here, and then I'm going to put uh, dots, different colored dots for whatever shops I happen to be able to PR for, whatever shops I get to lucky enough to PR for. <coughs> Excuse me. We have Queen City Design, my name, this is my Instagram handle, layered over this gorgeous Pinterest image. We have my monthly tracker, which I'm gonna be using for um, personal and home, uh, kind of like dusting, um, you know, changing the vent stuff, things, you know, of that nature, I'm gonna put it on here. <clears throat> the And then also, I think I'm going to do it for anxiety or some personal like habits that I have. Um, I don't know yet. I'll, I'll let you know um, eventually what it is, but it's blank for now. Um, and I'm still trying to figure out. By the way, this is personal size and this is Franklin Covey. So you can see the difference there um, of what a personal size would look like in this binder. Look how much room there would be left. It just looked crazy. Um, we have... My last section, which is miscellaneous. Maybe it's cold outside. I love that saying, so I had to have it in this planner <clears throat> layered over these cute little mittens. Again, I tried to look for the most masculine thing I could find. And then we have, um, this is actually, I can tear this part out because it's just, that's old. Um, this is my content planner. This is probably where I'm going to um, you know, figure out what kind of content I'm going to be putting on YouTube. Again, one of my goals is to have more relatable content, more informative content than just, this is the sub box I used and look at the deco. So my YouTube channel will have a little bit different flavor, I hope, um, by the end of 2021 than it did at the beginning. Then we have this book insert. This is from Paper and Ink Printables. Um, here's some of the books you can think, um, Glittery Stace on Instagram. Uh, I stalk her Instagram all the time for good books. Uh, we both love fantasy type books. Um, and, and so she is my go-to dealer for that. And we have planner friends. Okay. I have all kinds of planner friends that will be listed here pretty soon. Um, and I just thought this was such a cool idea 
um, to have them all listed. So this is from Paper and Ink Printables. And then Movie and TV. Um, this is from Squizzleberry and I have, sometimes my husband and I were like, what was that TV series we wanted to see? Or what, what was the release date for that one? One of them that we're really anticipating is uh, A Discovery of Witches, the second season. Um, if you guys haven't seen the first season, try to figure out, I think it's on, um, I forget where it's at, Sundance, um, if you subscribe to them. It's it's worth, if you can binge it within 30 days, I think you should try to do the free um, trial or seven days or whatever it is, because that show is worth it. TV series to watch, um, this is our new, then the Cinema Tracker, like movies that we want to watch, um, this kind of thing. More sticky notes on my page lifter. <clears throat> and then back here, I just have my trusty little Foxy Fix plastic um, secretarial pockets that have my stickers on there. By the way, these stickers are from MWD Designs Co. She has these in her printable shop. I do have a code listed below. <clears throat> these are amazing. They're like tiny little... Uh, minimal icons, so wonderful. Um, go check out her shop. And I keep those back there. And then these are from Queen City Design. I try to get um, <clears throat> some just decorative uh, dots that I would have for that month that I think will go with the vibe and the deco of that month. My favorite pen in the world, which is this cloth and paper. Um, I don't even know. Do they have the name of it? Kukoyo, um, I think is the name. I love the way this writes. It is the best pen probably in the world. And I just keep it clipped here. Back here, I don't have a lot. I just keep um, some extra inserts, some important papers, mainly receipts and things like that. And then... That's it. I'm losing the light. I hope this is not too dark. If it is too dark, you guys won't see this video. I'll just have to redo it. But um, until next time, I will see you then. Bye-bye.